Hey, Brian Young here from ProfitSourcing.com. I just wanted to shoot a short video on the different technology that you can use to source books. And as I'm sure you've already known from other, other posts and, and articles and things that I've written, we like to use PDAs to do our book sourcing. And so here's, one of the, here's an example of one of the PDAs that we purchased. It's a Dell Axiom X51. Um, and if you haven't seen a PDA before, maybe you recognize them. They were really popular in the late 90s. Uh, basically, they they considered it to be a, like a portable computer. You could do email. You could do um, you could do limited internet c connectivity. You could you know fill out your calendar on your PDA, and you can sync it up to your computer. But anything that could be done on a PDA now can be done on a smartphone. But these work great for book sourcing because it's a separate unit. You can download the Amazon book database, and then you have all the information that you need to determine whether or not to buy a book. Um, you know locally. On, on this unit and you don't need to rely on internet connectivity to source books. So Dell Axiom X51, we, we buy a package deal on eBay. You can also get the socket scanner separate if you want. It's just a little socket scanner that fits up here by the SD card slot on the top of the unit. And so you just hit the scan button, you hold it over a barcode and it will rapidly bring up the information on a book on a book that you're you know trying to make a, a buying decision on. And so this book in particular is retail or, or sorry online arbitrage by Chris Green, and this is the information that came up. You can tell it's not very fancy; it looks kind of old, old school and archaic, but it really gives you all the relevant information that you need quickly, and that's all that really matters. So the top will be the title, then you have uh, four lines of prices. So the top two is gr well, the green one right here, that's used, merchant fulfilled, and they'll tell you which condition it's in. So one hundred twenty-six dollars for uh, merchant fulfilled book in good condition. Then you have uh, merchant fulfilled new, so 265, 284. You have FBA used, so then like new, good, 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 and their prices above. And then FBA new, 200, 270, 287. And down here it has the rank 85,014 uh, right there is the number of offers. And then I think 71 is how much battery life we have left. And I can't remember what the other number indicates. But that's about it. So, so the thing is, once you get really comfortable with the layout here, you're going to be very rapidly be able to, to scan books and evaluate them on the fly. And it's really important to be fast in this game because, as you guys know, those who have done some book sourcing, I mean, one out of ten books, or maybe even worse than that, is worth buying. And so the, the name of the game is to try to get to those other nine books as fast as possible. So you can find the one here and there that's going to be profitable for reselling. The other option, though, I, I would say don't don't spend two hundred, three hundred dollars on a scanner, on a PDA, if you're just starting out and you're not sure if, if this business is right for you. I'd, I'd highly recommend that you just grab your smartphone, download a, a free sourcing app. There's a couple out there that are pretty inexpensive. We use one called Scoutify, and that comes with our Inventory Lab subscription. Um, inventory Labs like forty dollars a month, but we use that for listing and for analyzing all of our other products um, on Amazon. But you can buy that program and get this app, or you can get download apps like Profit Bandit. You can do a trial for Scan Power. There's a couple other apps on the market now too that that are competing. And how it works is you hit the scan button. Uh, essentially, it'll take a picture of the of the UPC with the camera, the rear facing camera on your phone, and then. After it's focused, it'll send that information to the app, and the app will tell you um, all the relevant Amazon selling information. You need to have internet connectivity for these apps. You know, if you don't have Wi-Fi or internet, you're not going to be able to utilize them. Um, but I mean, the information is great. I like it. It, it tells you the category, the rank. Um, it gives you all the information that you need to make a an informed purchasing decision. So again, if you're just starting out, maybe start with a cheap route. You know, grab your smartphone, scan some books around the house, and then kind of go from there. And if you, if you determine that this is a profitable business that you'd like to pursue part-time or full-time, then you can invest in some other equipment if you'd like. So hopefully I've answered some questions that you may have had. If you have any other questions or concerns or comments, leave them below. I'd be happy to help. Thanks again. Have a great day.